Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your girl, Bree. I come with a quick little message to you guys this morning. My message to you guys is being true and real with you. Being true and real with you and owning what you like, what you want, and standing on what you like and what you want. You hear me? It's time for you to stand. If you know you got an attitude, stand on that you got an attitude, but try to clean that up and adjust it. If you know that you're struggling financially, stand on what you're struggling on and try to fix that. Only you know what you're going through. Don't let nobody else dictate or try to say what you're going through. If you're not going through that, you're not going through that. But only you know that what you're going through. You need to stand on that and be honest with yourself. Listen, if you love that dude with that big old eggplant, even though he don't do everything right, even though he might can't come through and, and um pop you off like he's supposed to, you stand on it. If you know you want to fight for that dude, if you know you want to fight for that woman, if you know you want to fight for whatever it is, you stand on it. Do what's best for you. A lot of you guys are still seeking approval for others outside. If you know somebody loves you, if you know you love somebody, if you know you hooked on somebody and you want to be with somebody, then say that. Listen, a closed mouth does not get fed. If you want to be in a relationship with somebody, if you want to express to somebody how you feel, open up your mouth and say that, okay? You got a couple of days left until this week, until you start your a whole nother six-month cycle. Stop walking around here with y'all, with them frogs in y'all throat and speak how you really feel to somebody. You heard me? If you know you're trying to get pregnant by this man, say that. If you know, if you know you want to move in a house with this man, say that. If you, if you know you want this man to do this and do that for you, say it then. Whatever it is that you want for this man to do, say it. If you want, if you want to be happy, say it. If you want to move and you want somebody to move with you, say it. Stop lying to yourself because y'all want somebody else to prove about your damn life. This is your life. You got one life to live. Live it to the fullest with no shame, no guilt, and no regret. Only you know what you want. Hey, listen, if you want to bang old dude down the street, that's your life. Then do it. Whatever it is that you feel like you need to do. But get honest with yourself. You run around here lying to yourself. Listen, if you know you're a freak, own your freakiness. You heard me? Own your freakiness. If you know you if you know you want to experience and do all kind of stuff, own who you are. Not try to hide it. Oh no, this, oh no, that. No, it's time for you to be honest and real with yourself. You heard me? Honest and real with yourself because it's time for you to do some self-evaluation. I'm talking about some serious self-evaluation. Looking at yourself. Saying, I'm saying if you know your hygiene ain't to, ain't together, you work on that. If you, if you know your house ain't together, if you know your house is is not how you really want it to be, well, you work on that. If you know where you, you stand, where you at, is not where you want to stay, work on it. Whatever it is it may be in your life, work on it. Apply yourself. Stop hindering yourself. If you know you want to go back to school. And you know you want to go get this and you know you want to take care of that. Go do it. Stop letting stuff hold you back from being you, from reaching your full potential, for doing what, what you want to do. Nothing can hold you back. You are free. Stop keeping yourself bound. You keeping yourself bound to people, places, and things. You are free to do what you want to do. Listen, you know you want to go get you a new car? Step out on fake, go get you a new car. You heard me? If you know you want to buy you a fixer-upper, buy you a fixer-upper. And that's what you do. That's what that's how you do that there. You take care of you and do what you gotta do for you at all given times. Stop waiting on somebody else's opinion of your life. Stop worrying about what somebody else gonna say. Cause listen, baby, they're gonna talk about you when you do good or bad, okay? You're gonna be dead and gone. And guess what? They still gonna be talking about you. Yeah. You remember when um so and so when Sarah was so in love with that man, couldn't leave that man alone, worried about that man, worried about what that man got going on. And look, the men. Yeah, old Charlie. Boy, old Charlie used to be a freak. Yeah, old Charlie used to mess with everybody. You heard me? Charlie had babies all over the nation. You heard me? Charlie was slinging that thing. Charlie was doing all the rest of that. See, they still going to talk about you no matter what. So you make sure you're doing you. Make sure you're living life to the best of your ability that you're making you happy and making sure that you feel accomplished and whole. Some of y'all running around here 
feeling incomplete because you want to be with somebody, but you're scared this person and that person going to say this. You're scared of this. You're going to say that. Man, listen, F them people. You heard me? F them people. Listen, this me. You heard me? This me, Brie, right here. I love who I want to love. I F with who I want to F with and who I don't want to F with. That's it. They may, listen, the person I love, they may feel he ain't nothing. You hear me? They may feel he broke, busted, disgusted. They may feel all kind of stuff about him. But guess what? I know I know what he is. I know who he is to me. That's mine. And so guess what? Ain't nobody going to make me leave mine alone. If that's what I want, that's what I want. And I'm what I want, I get. Period. So that's how you got to be in that mind frame. Guess what? You got to be eager. You got to have that fighting. You got to you gotta have that, that dog in you. You heard me? That dog that's going to go out there and going to get what you want. That dog that ain't going to back down from no adversary, no nothing. That dog going to stand 10 on what they want. And you get what you want. You heard me? Listen. That's my man. That's going to be my husband. We about to have some twins. We going to do this. We going to do that. That's mine. You heard me? That... Go to that building. This my building. This where my business gonna be. My business gonna be booming. I'm gonna make this much money a year. I'm gonna make that much money a year. You gotta go. You talk to this stuff. You gotta call this stuff out. You gotta speak to as the, to these things as as though they are. Man, y'all out of here. Um, well, I thank my business. Nah, we ain't thanking nothing. We know your business gonna boom. You heard me? We know you are gonna pass them state boards. We know you are gonna get that new house. We know you are gonna get that car. Why do I gotta believe in you more than you believe in yourself? I need you to stand up and believe in you because you got you. I promise you on everything I love, you got you. You good. You straight and you took care. Ain't nothing going to happen to you. You good. Stand on what you want. Self-evaluation. It's time for a lot of us to be honest with ourselves about some things. Very honest with ourselves because we don't, we, it's, it's like we out here scared to take accountability scared to express who we really are scared to show somebody that we really love them we really appreciate we really respect them scared of what somebody else gonna judge how somebody else gonna judge uh, who we love man listen man i don't care if you loved the man with one leg one arm whatever you had to do everything for him love is love the heart wants what the heart wants sometimes and i'm honest about this right here Sometimes you cannot help who you love. Prime example, I'm going to tell y'all something. This is a prime, prime example right here. I always look at Monica and see murder thing and see how much she love him. Even though she might have got married to other people, her loyalty still stayed with C. Murder because she still stayed down to the count with him. Still staying down to the count and he can't do nothing for her. Nothing for her but her loyalty to him let me tell y'all something and i'm gonna be honest with you a man or a woman can be in your life doing everything right sexing you good taking care of you and doing whatever but the heart wants what the heart wants if your heart somewhere else yeah you will stay with that person for materialistic gains for this for public recognition for this and with that but eventually your heart start aching your heart start yearning for that person and you go go get that person and then guess what you end up eat hurting the other person that you didn't got involved with knowing that your heart been somewhere else see it's time for a lot of y'all to take account, uh, accountability that's why i'd rather stay single than play head games with somebody else knowing somebody got the key to my man they got the dead they got a dead boat they got all kind of keys Oh, I mean, all kind of locks on my heart. So why would I try to go and give it to somebody else knowing somebody else have it? Why would I go and break somebody else's heart while I'm holding my heart down for somebody else? That don't go, but that's how it's going nowadays because a lot of us don't want to take responsibility. A lot of us don't want to take accountability for um, us loving somebody else, us loving and caring for somebody else, but going and getting a relationship with somebody else, knowing that's not where we really want to be. We're not being loyal to ourselves. You, It starts with loyalty. Be loyal to you. Who holds your heart? I want y'all to sit down there and think about that today. Who really holds your heart? Who your heart aching for? Who, listen, who you sit down, who you go in that bathroom when nobody around and you think about? Who you lay in that bed and just bust out smiling out of nowhere behind? 
Who you do all this? Who play back in your head these memories over and over in your head? Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself about who holding your heart in their hand. I ain't trying to be cocky. I got your heart in my pocket. Who got your heart in their pocket? Y'all need to take accountability for that. Take accountability for um, Take accountability for things as think other things that's in your life, other areas in your life. You heard me? Other areas in your life. A lot of y'all staying stuck and stabbing in a city where y'all don't want to be because you're trying to please your family. Here it is, your family telling you you need to do this and do that to take care of them. But here you is, you want to go ride motorcycles. You heard me? You want to go out here, you want to start a shoe, uh, what is it called? A shoe business. You want to you want to open a shoe store. But your fan and them telling you to go do this, t t telling you to drive trucks, telling you to uh, do this and do that. You heard me? Here you is, you want to be a, uh, here, here you is, you watch, you're a whole watcher, but you want to be a crane operator. Here you is, you a nurse. But you a nurse, but what you really well, what you really want to do is design your own clothes, but you listening to your family telling your family. Listen to your family telling you that that don't make no money. Live your dreams. You know what you dreamed of. You know what you want to be. You know where you want to go. Be honest with yourself and live your true dreams. Your true, true, true dreams. If you sat down and you wrote on a piece of paper where I'm going to be Mrs. So-and-so, Miss, uh, Mrs. So-and-so going to be my wife. We're going to have this many kids. We're going to have this house. We're going to have this and that. If you sat down and you was manifesting what you want, stand on what you had manifest, what you asked for. Just because you didn't get it right then and that don't mean that it's not coming. It's coming, but you got to stand on. You can't be double-minded and because you ain't get something. So you manifested something. Say you manifested something in 2020 and you ain't never got it yet. Well, maybe 2023 is your year. You heard me? It's not your time. It's God time. You got to be patient. Stand on what you want. So if you told God, say, I told God this. Well, God, I want to marry so-and-so. And I want this and I want that. But here it is, 20, here it is, 2022. Now I'm calling another man name. And I'm telling God I want this with him. But I, I just wanted it with the same man. No, you confused. You're an individual. You need to take some time out to yourself and sit down and manifest what you really want. Sit down and come up to your conclusion of what you want. Because listen, some of y'all... Some of y'all just want to be in a relationship to get over another relationship and that doesn't work like that. But some of y'all really want to relationships. Y'all got to be honest with yourself. And to be honest with you, some of y'all really don't want a relationship at all. Y'all just want a, a sex partner. You heard me? That's it. And y'all need to be honest with yourself about whatever it is that it may be. Whether it's going to school whether it's quitting school, whether it's starting your business, whether it's stopping your business, whether whether it's whether it's you playing sports all day, whether it's you traveling all day, whatever it may be in your life that you want to do for you, do it. Be honest and truthful with yourself and stop let others dictate who you are and what you do. Who you love, why you love them, how you love them. Man, listen, what's understood for you ain't got to be explained for nobody else. You heard me? Long as you and that person know what it is, that's all that matter. All the rest of that extra stuff, it's time to stop. It's time to become one with you. Be truthful and faithful to you. Look, man, I mean, yeah. But you owning your meanness. Man, I'm lazy, yeah, but you owning your lazy. Man, I got a nasty, stank attitude, but you owning your attitude. I don't like people, but you owning that you don't like people. You heard? You still, but you owning that you still. You play with things you don't have no reason playing with, but you own what you do. Take accountability on what it is that you do. Okay? Be one with yourself. Be truthful with yourself. I don't love this person. I just want this person because I don't want nobody else to have them because I want all their money. Own it. If I get if I get mad, I'm only getting mad for the money, financial issues. Own it. Say it. Own it. Be one with yourself. Be true to yourself. Never lie to yourself. Because when you lie to yourself, you end up playing yourself. And you ain't got time to be playing yourself. Be one with yourself about who you are. Okay? That's just like if okay, I I don't I don't like fish. I'm talking about me, Bree. I don't eat fish. 
but here I am. Somebody uh, uh, invite me over. They got they got fish and stuff, and I'm so fake, and I want to make it to fit into somebody else. I start eating something that I don't like, but I be damn. I bet you I starve. One thing, two things for sure about me. I'm going to starve, baby, because I'm not eating nothing I don't eat. But I'm one with myself. I'm true with myself, and that's how some of y'all got to be. Y'all got to be true with yourself. I don't need to follow you here. I don't need to follow you here. I don't need to do this. I don't need to do that. I just need to continue to keep loving me. You hear me? If you in love with somebody who got multiple women, stand on what you in love with. You heard me? If that's where you want to be. That's you if you want to be number 14 in a man life. Ain't got nothing to do with me. But if that's what you want to do, be one with yourself. Stop being denied. Stop pulling the wool over your own eyes where God is showing you. When God shows you, listen, I don't care when nobody show you. But when God shows you, when God show, show, show you who somebody is, trust and believe him. I don't care how much you love that person. If God has showed you that somebody doing something behind your back, if God has showed you that somebody keeping secrets from you, if God is showing you somebody don't want you, if God has shown, if God is showing you that you lying to yourself, if God is showing you that you need to heal yourself, if God is showing you you have abandonment issues, if God is showing you have a sexual addiction, if God is showing you this, if God is showing you that, if God is showing you this and he's showing you that, trust and believe what God has shown you. Be one with yourself, own your stuff and clear up yourself. Why are you so scared to get rid of things that's in you that shouldn't be in you? Why are you re- why are you scared to shed that old skin and uh, come with your new skin? Why are you scared to walk into your new blessings in your new season? Why are you so scared of being the true version of you? Why? I need you guys to really sit down and do some self-evaluation and think about why am I so scared to be me? Me, the real me. Some of y'all running around here, y'all in relationship with women, but y'all really want to be with a man. Baby, listen, no disrespect to nobody. I got a lot of gay, got a, a lot of gay friends and I love them to death. But they, they so cool. I love your dad's baby. Look, they so, so cool. You have so much fun with them. They're not in competition with you. Now, some of them be in competition. Some men be in competition with my friend dad. He ain't like that. He ain't in competition with me. He ain't doing none of that. He is good. You heard me? Love him to death. Be your true, authentic self. If you a female, you know you like licking that cat, that cat, that cat. Well, guess what, baby? Be you. If you know you mess with a man, you in a relationship with a man, but you really want to be with a woman, be you, be your true authentic self. You heard me? Be your true authentic self. Love you wholeheartedly. Can't nobody tell you what you can't be. Can't nobody tell you who you can't mess with. Can't nobody tell you who you can't love. Can't nobody tell you who you can't get no chance with. Man, listen, this is your life. Live it. God give you free will. When you going to take advantage of that free will and live your life fullest instead of worried about somebody else? What somebody else say and how somebody else feel. Remember, it's about time you be true with self, self-evaluation. It's your girl, Bree. Peace.